Not being articulate is part of it because you kind of know, you need to find some new, you know, new ways into this text. That isn't that doesn't happen via a kind of rational process. I, I'm the trouble with Alice as a text is you know. Like many texts, is the, it's not read that much, firstly, I think. Um, I didn't want to have a cutesy pie, you know, 12 year old Alice. I wanted, because the text is really about dreaming and about the importance of dreaming and fantasy. And so it seems to me that that could be relevant just as much now, whether it's said by you or me or, or uh, you know, 30 year old or a 70 year old woman, it doesn't really matter. Um, because we're all worried about, you know, paying off our mortgage or our rents or buying uh, stuff. And Alice is, you know, really an invitation to just um, to let go of all that. It's just a really different take on a classic and I think people's expectations will be challenged and hopefully they'll leave with something that they didn't really expect to leave with, which is quite exciting, I think. The physicalness is very important, so the audience won't be seeing people in a rabbit costume or with a blonde wig. It's more about using your body to kind of express the different characteristics rather than putting on a silly voice or yeah. putting on some whiskers or anything like that. It's nothing like that. I think just imagine like a big glossy West End production and <laughs> imagine the complete opposite <laughs> yeah. to that and you're just kind of a little Splash bit close to where we are.